These metallic mailboxes are remnants of old Hong Kong. They were once handmade by local craftspeople and still appear everywhere in the bustling, vibrant Tokwa Wan neighborhood. But these skills may soon be a thing of the past. Local authorities have slated these old residential blocks for redevelopment. Sheet metal artist Michael Yu wants to preserve the craft. He teaches young people to make post boxes themselves and also sells them as souvenirs. The metal post boxes are now sold to customers who want to preserve a slice of Hong Kong's history. Ho Wing Sun runs his own metal workshop in the downtown Shangwan neighborhood. He also makes post boxes as well as kitchen accessories and spare parts for air conditioners. His shop has barely changed since his father opened it before the Second World War. The busiest days in the trade followed the 1967 riots, which paralyzed Hong Kong's economy. Once stability returned, Ho's sheet metal skills were in high demand. Hong Kong's Mongkok district has an entire street of shops selling kitchen accessories. Some of them are made in this sheet metal workshop at the back of a store. Dickie Zai's family business has been in the trade for decades. Dickie's business still employs four people, but the market is dwindling. For many sheet metal workers, it is the love of the craft that keeps them going. Yu only sells a few of his iconic post boxes every month, but his classes have helped more than 700 students learn how to carry on the tradition. Why do you use a machine? You use a machine to make a machine. 